Welcome to Curie Electronics. Today I am going to solve NRSC Technician B Electronics question paper. The exam was held on uh, 2017. All of you please hit the like button. Also if you like the video please share with your friends. A simple half wave rectifier made with single diode, single diode and single load converts an AC voltage to a waveform that has all, only the positive or negative half of the input sinusoid because the input is a sinusoidal wave and the output you will get either positive half or negative half depending upon the this diode direction if HF, HFE of a transistor is 1000 and base current IB is 2 milliamps what is the value of collector current so you can simply use the relation IC equal to beta times IB so you will get 2000 milliamps Identify the following symbol. This is the XOR gate. Identify the following symbol. So here arrow is coming in. If arrow is coming in, uh, it is opposite to the transistor. If arrow is coming in, in, in uh, regarding transistor, it is PNB. So it is a N channel MOSFET. N channel MOSFET. A class A amplifier operates over which region of the characteristic curve? So it has to be in the, for the entire signal, it has to be in the linear region. It has to conduct the entire signal without distortion. Then it has to be completely in linear. How many address bits are required to address? 4096, 4096 bytes of memory. So each byte if you want one, one memory location then it is 2 to the power 12. So we need 12 address bits. The following circuit is, what is the circuit? It is a non-inverting amplifier because the input is given at the non-inverting terminal of the op amp. The resistance between point A and point B in the following circuit is. See here, to these 12, 12 ohms are in parallel, also 16 ohms are in parallel. So, what is the equation if same value resistors are there? Then it is R upon, R, R is a resistance value upon number of resistors. So, 12, here uh, what is the number of resistors? How many? It's 2. So, 12 by 2, 6. So like that you can simplify it you will get the answer as 10 ohm this is when you connect capacitors in parallel it is just opposite to the resistors when capacitors are connected in parallel we will add them simply the same way if you simplify what one you will get you will get 5 microfarad as the answer these are all kind of questions we have solved in previous uh, question papers I have explained very well, so I am not explaining here in detail. Decimal equivalent of whatever the given number, answer is 102. 7 for double cell, it is a NAND gate, this is a NAND IC. 1 gigahertz equal to, 1 gigahertz means 10 to the power 9 hertz, so we can write it as 1 followed by 9 zeros. So option C is the right answer. The color code of 47 kilo ohm. So 4 means it should be yellow, uh, then 7 violet. Kilo means we should get orange. So yellow violet orange. So yellow violet orange is the color code of 47 kilo ohm. In an N type semiconductor electrons are minority carriers 
protons are minority carriers holes are majority carriers now electrons are majority carriers in n type semiconductor signal diodes can be used for it's for voltage regulation or protect protecting from over voltage so it will clip the voltage identify the following circuit it's a darlington pair two transistors are there first answer the uh, emitter is controlled the other transistor base the following is known as universal gate all of you know the forward voltage drop of silicon diode is around 0.7 volt this is for the 0.3 volt is for germanium diode in lr circuit if l equal to 1 micro entry and r equal to 1 kilo ohm what is the value of time constant you know that what is the equation for time constant t equal to l upon r if you put the values and simplify you will get it as 1 nanosecond which resists the the circuit element which resists change in current through it by the action of magnetic field magnetic field means its inductor only Inductor. In a field effect transistor, the conductivity between source and drain terminals is controlled by the action of. See, FET is a voltage controlled device, so it is controlled by electric field in the device. The ideal internal resistance of a voltmeter. See, volt when you use a voltmeter and we make the measurement on a circuit, it should not affect the circuit voltage circuit parameters. So you should have a, an ideal in, internal resistance of a voltmeter should be infinite. And practically, it should be very high. The smallest region in a BJT is base, thinnest region. What is the value of forty-five square minus thirty-five square? Answer is. 800 using the a square minus b square formula. In a right angle triangle, if the length of hypotenuse is x and one side is y, what is the length of the third side? So all of you know it is the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem means here you can write it as x square equal to y square plus z square. Using this, we can find the uh, length of each side. So here, what is the answer? What is asked? What is the length of the third side? Uh, third side uh, it is x square minus y square. Square root of x square minus y square. How many diodes are required for achieving full wave rectification in bridge configuration? These are all very simple questions. Four. The circuit suited for AM demodulation is. Envelope detector. In an AM circuit, if the carrier amplitude is 5 volt and message peak amplitude is 2 volt, what is the modulation index? Here, nothing to see here. Easily you can take 0.4. How? Because modulation AM modulation index value has to be 0 to 1. C MOS stands for. Complementary metal oxide semiconductor. Plug and play means. Ah, uh, that means the added hardware will be automatically recognized and used. Or all USB devices are devices are plug and play. When you plug a keyboard or mouse, it automatically detect and it starts working. That is the plug and play devices. In a computer terminology, BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. Which component stores energy in the form of electric field? Its inductor. Output of the four input combination of a two input XOR gate. How many of those combination will result in a high output? This is the two table. So we are getting two, two, two combinations will. Result in high output. 
Among the following gates, which gate will produce low output even if just one of the input is low? So assume that uh, we have an IAN gate, there are 32 inputs. In, uh, if any one of the input is low that is connected to ground, then output is going to be low. So answer is AND gate. In a full order, the sum output is produced by which gate? It's a XOR gate. For a transformer with trans ratio 4 is to 5, if the input AC voltage amplitude is 10 volt, what is the output voltage amplitude? So you can simply apply the uh, this N1 upon N2 equal to E1 upon E2 equation and calculate. So we'll get 12.5 volt. If the capacity of a battery is 1 ampere hour and if it is connected to a load which draws 50 milliamps, for how many hours will the battery will be able to provide power to the load? So 1 hour means 1000 milliamps. So this draws 50 milliamps, 50 milliamps of current the load draws then what is t thousand upon fifty you will get twenty hours as the answer twenty hours as the answer an ideal constant current source has i am planning to uh, conduct a class uh, for this uh, isro uh, exams isro exams uh, it is going to be a 30-day 30, 30 day class, one, one, one and a half hour time duration and it is uh, good for uh, students appearing for uh, which, uh, any technical exam based on ITA electronics. I noted decided when to conduct, uh, I will update you when I will conduct, I will decide the fee everything, so I will update you. Uh, it will be useful for uh, any exam based on electronics ITA and so what is the next question 38 an ideal constant current source has see what is this uh, this you can think about just the opposite of the ideal current meter what is the resistance of an ideal current meter it has to be zero because it should not this meter should not provide any opposition to the current flow it is the ideal current source is just opposite that so it should have in, infinite internal resistance opposite to the current meter or ammeter parity check can be used for checking bit errors we will use per odd parity and even parity to find any bit errors a capacitor of 100 microfarad is charged to a voltage of 10 volt. What is the charge stored in the capacitor? You can simply put the equation Q equal to C. If you simplify, what you will get? 1 milli coulomb. So, first 40 questions we have completed. This I am not uh, explaining in detail because this all already I have uh, solved many question papers, it is already there. So thanks for watching, please share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button. So as I said, I am planning a 30, 30, 30 is not 30 day class, 30 classes of maybe 1 hour or 1 and a half hours. Uh, for, if you are appearing for any competitive exam, it is good. I will update you regarding other details. Thanks for watching.